Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. It's Sunday, April the 8th, the year 2018. Let's talk trading. Weekly opening gap. And as always, money and risk management should be part of your daily trading. Okay, we can see here the markets. Oh, what? About two hours, two and a half hours open, and we only have two gaps left to fill. Only two gaps left to fill. Once again, just one of those profitable trades that almost anybody can take. Let's look at the euro here. As you can see, euro gap down and is continuing down. So if it doesn't break this level, last week's low, it's probably going to go the other way, right? Just something to keep in mind. Let's switch over to the daily, as we can see here. Dollar Canadian's going up. It's inside the previous session's wick zone. So it's either going to come out this end or come back down here. Most likely. That's the most likely scenario. You can see here buy zone. Once again, the buy zone um, would have paid off, but we usually don't trade a, a dollar Canadian during the Australian Open. You want to trade something in you know, Japan pair or possibly um, an Aussie pair. Like that, maybe a New Zealand pair. As you can see here, there was like what four pips or so profit opportunity there. But that's Harry hindsight, right? We we wouldn't know that. We wouldn't know to trade here and go long, especially with the you know going towards the pivot. Oh, by the way, somebody had asked a question. What is FPP? That's the future pivot point. So in other words, if this was the end of the day, this is where the pivot point would lie. Why do you want to know that? Because near the end of the day, you might want to jump in the trade heading toward and, you know, anticipating it's going to move that way. So uh, that's why. So let's see, let's put this back to dollar Canadian. And rat zone, of course, there's only 26 pips of range. Uh, well, there it is right there. Not enough, not enough room at all. Okay, here we go. I probably need to bring that to H1 so we can see the uh, pivots here. Now, uh, that same trader asked me about TC and BC. Uh, top of the central pivot range and the bottom of the central pivot range. Now, I don't know which is which, but one of these, either TC or BC, is yesterday or the previous session's midpoint. Maybe, let's see, there is a right here. So 126 or 127,639. 127,639. So that's the BC. Now, the distance between the BC and the TC, if you invert it, I'm sorry, the distance between the uh, bottom here and the pivot, if you flip it over, that's how you get the TC. So if the BC, let's say, is 10 pips below, the TC will be 10 pips above. <clears throat> that's why it's called the central pivot range. Basically, think of it, <coughs> excuse me, think of it as a wick zone. Price doesn't like staying in the central pivot zone just like it doesn't like staying in the wick zone. And no, I don't have a frequency distribution on that, but you know what? Maybe I'll have to do one. Wouldn't be that difficult, I don't think. And here we go. We're looking at the price action. And you can see right there, long at the line, you're already up a pip, <laughs> a whole pip. But they add up right now, you're up two. I mean... Traders, it's not that difficult, especially new traders. I mean, this might be the type of setup you want to look at just so you can practice your trade execution. And here we go, back to 
the five lines of yesterday. Here we have the open of today right there long at the line. And once again, money to be made. Oh, Harry hindsight, right? <laughs> that is just that's so funny, Harry hindsight. Okay, we got the wick zone here. Price is in the wick zone. Um, expect price to leave the wick zone. And here we are in the highest open, lowest open. Sooner or later, price will reverse off the highest open. And it will reverse off the lowest open if it revisits it. So this is something that's dynamic, as you know. And as you can see here, I haven't been haven't had the computer on for long so we can look at what's happening here with the price action at the tick level and you can see here that the uh, bid price went above the valley of the ask i love that valley of the ask and you can see here price is going up why because the ask hasn't dropped below the peak of the bid and that's it. It's really simple, traders. Uh, I'm trying to think. Where, there might have been some other questions out there. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but if I missed them, I'll try to answer them next time. Oh, somebody. I know there was another question. They were saying something about the gap. They wanted to know about the um, parameters here in the dashboard. Um so right here, we've got gap. I just say column 17, the indicator name, we're using the gap, okay? Indicator period, W1. And as you can see, bar number, current bar zero, and everything else is uh, zeros. So that's how we get that daily uh, gap right there. Not too difficult. So, I hope that helps, fellow traders. That's just a quickie. Um, let's see. Is there any other news I should tell you about? No, I think I brought you guys up to speed. So, I hope you have a profitable uh, trading week. And remember, when you're out there clicking the mouse, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. A rumple one, back to draining the banks.